What's up squad? It's your boy Trey, AKA Daddy Seed. Welcome back to the channel. Um, if it's your first time here, do me a quick favor, hit that notification bell down below so you can stay on top of our content as we drop it. And if you've been here before, thanks for rocking with us. We appreciate you coming back, vibing, rocking with our content, subbing up, sharing us out to your friends, all the comments, everything. Um, appreciate you so much. And today, now that that's out of the way, we're gonna get into the topic at hand. So we are gonna to talk today about something that I really had to get in hand to do an unofficial early look because I really needed to find out, is it really worth it? And I'm talking about the Air Jordan 3 J Balvin Medellin Sunset. All right, y'all, let's get into it. All right, so the J Balvin Medellin Sunset Air Jordan 3. Source these by some alternate means. You know what I'm talking about? Um, and we don't condone, we don't promote, we don't even condemn people buying other, you know, on, the, on other markets. Um, it's up to you, that's your money. But we got these for educational purposes, to take an early look, and we're gonna talk about this shoe. One is kind of polarizing, it's a dope shoe, but you know, my, my conversation today is, is it worth $250? Now I'm gonna keep it all the way live with y'all. 250 retail for a Jordan 3 is pretty wild. So I wanna look into the design, what we get for it, um, the materials, um, all those types of things. But also I wasn't gonna go pay, you know, some crazy <laughs> resale price for an early pair on a shoe that's already way priced up. So hopefully y'all understand where I'm coming from. This is to provide y'all with an early look so we can really break down what's happening. And on top of that, we got EA going on as this video drops, it's happening today um, at noon on the Sneakers app. So look on there, see if you see exclusive access. For some people it's been showing early. Shout out to Soul Retriever for letting us know early about that. Um, but yeah, so let's see what's happening. Hopefully we all can cop a Retail W today. But for right now, let's take a look at this shoe, the box and everything and talk about what's happening. We'll get into it. And of course you see it's an Air Jordan 3 box. Uh, pretty dope detail to be honest. They put the sleeve on this one. So you're looking at this Medellin city down below. And then you got the sunset up here. And then when you take the sleeve off, you got this, the J Balvin smiley face, right? It's kind of become his signature. Um, he did the Air Jordan 1 that had the smiley face on it and everything. Then he did the Air Jordan uh, 2 with the light on top. That one, that guess didn't have a smiley face, maybe on the box or something. Um, I didn't have that shoe because no thank you, but <laughs> I'm not a big fan of twos. Uh, but if y'all like them, that's cool. Just, uh, but I love Jordan 3s and, you know, I really wanted to take a look at this one. This one comes in a really dope, dope box. The Air Jordan 3 Retro SP Special Projects. The color just says multicolor, multicolor, because really that's what it is. Uh, but I'm guessing the retail pairs will maybe have something different on the label. We'll see. Hopefully we can cop a you know a W on that, and I'll do a side by side just so y'all know what to look out for. You know when that shoe is you know out there on the market and on secondary, so nobody's out here getting got. So check out our other videos. We've done that before. So this one, you know, it's got some some dope colors and some insignia on the box itself, on the box top. Um, you got Spanish and English, and the English says, a sunset always reminds me a new day full of opportunity is coming, J Balvin. So, you know, J Balvin dropped these, or was dropping these, and he, you know, got them early to DJ Khaled, or should I say DJ Khaled made it happen when he stalked basically J Balvin, J Balvin on the, the golf course and took the shoes off his feet. Um, but, you know, J Balvin was smart. He knows DJ Khaled is, you know, getting his marketing on and is going to pump that out all over the internet and drive up some hype because that's what he does. You know, God did all of that. Let's go golfing. You know, Khaled does all the things. Um, but yeah, so that's the, the box lid. We take the box lid off. We got paper inside. And on this paper is really the same thing. So you got all the same insignia, right? You've got the uh, a sunset always reminds me a new day full of opportunity is coming. So all throughout, you got this kind of sunset gradient on the paper as well. And then after all of that, tissue paper inside, and then we can just get to the actual shoe. How about it? 
this shoe, I'm gonna be honest. I mean, regardless of where this came from, this shoe is clean, man. It is like super, super clean. Um, and a dope design that they put on this shoe. You know, if you've seen it in pictures, you know, I've seen where the shoe looks bright white, almost like the reimagined threes. But this in hand is more almost like a slight cream. And again, it's the Medellin sunset. So, you know, did they go with this slightly off white to give you that kind of sunset flare? And we'll see again, side by side with the retail pair would be dope. Um, but the shoe itself, this is the first shoe, and then you get the other one, the right shoe. Let me show you that because the back tabs are different, right? So overall, just really, really dope. Really, really nice shoe, man. And again, my question, is this shoe worth $250? So let's think about what we get here. We got nice, beautiful leather. Again, think Reimagine 3s. And I'm gonna help you think about them because I got them right here. Reimagine threes, was this 200? I guess this is from DSG for me. I hit on one of those and I hit at undefeated as well for a retail pair of the Reimagine threes. Um, but leather is nice, very similar. Soft leather, right, plush. You got the widow's peak on that toe. That's the, the new Jordan three thing, I guess, that they're doing. Um, leather tongue, of course suede around the top and people have talked about you know is this kind of similar to like the Amamai Yer 3 um I mean it's kind of because you get a little bit of the suede around the, the collar and on the around the lace holes but it's not the same I mean they're they're different for sure you do get Nike Air on the back of this one and that sunset gradient on the back that's a really dope hit and I love the gradient around the shoe as well around the midsole um but then they did this nice elephant print that's got a nice pattern on that not too thick not too thin and then this cream midsole with the multicolor and then this bright white mid of uh, outsole which is pretty dope so the outsole i've checked it it does not glow in the dark i've even hit it with the the, the, the uv you know the, the black light it does not glow in the dark but it looks really cool. So this is a, you know, you cop this shoe, you're gonna wanna put some sole protectors on this because it's gonna get filthy. And make sure you hit up Drip Grip. And you can use my code for 10% off as well, DS10 on dripgrip.com. So check them out, get what you want. Um, they gave you the smiley face, little medallion on the side, the hang tag. All right, so you got Nike Air on this one. Let me move these out of the way. And you've got the smiley face on the back of this one, right? Jump man on the tongue, the leather tongue, leather all throughout. Just a clean shoe, man. I mean, the laces, you're not getting anything special there. They're regular laces, soft cotton laces. Um, again, 250. I just really want to know why. 254, because it's a cool shoe. What are y'all thinking? You think 250 is just Nike giving us some, I guess, price tolerance? See what we see what we think, see what we do. Will the shoe sell out? I mean, of course it's gonna sell out. I think it's gonna be fairly limited in number. We're gonna see exclusive access going out uh, today. Like I said, that's supposed to be today at noon. So make sure you are on the sneakers app. Um, and then of course the regular release is the is September 23rd, $250. Um, so yeah, I'm sure whatever pairs there are, they're not gonna be in crazy abundance. Uh, but let's look at the insoles, you got a sunset on those as well. And these are just a regular, getting your dream cell insoles. I mean, really clean pair. I just don't know if I need to, to spend 250 on these though. They could have really gave these to us for 200 and called it a day. Um, but that's Nike. What do y'all think? Y'all after these, you really want these in hand. And again, I'll give you a little side by side with the reimagined three. I mean, very similar. Like even, you know, your, your toe boxes are similar. It's got that narrow, more narrow, you know, lower toe box, the, the OG kind of retro toe box. And this is a clean shoe, very similar. I mean, everything, the, the pairs line up pretty well. So again, I know how some people feel like, oh, why'd you get those and reviewing those? Like, look, man, 
we just taking a look at it, right? Um, it's still a shoe. It's made in China. It's made out of leather, rubber, and glue. So let's see what we think and see if it's, it's worth it when that shoe drops uh, for retail. You know, are people going out here paying $500, $450, $500 for it? Is it worth doing that? Um, it's going to be a clean shoe. It, it, you know, it feels like a summer shoe, but it's coming out, you know, for the fall. So this is going to be fall, winter. This might be like a spring shoe for me because I don't know if I'll be wearing this when the weather's cold and we get in bad weather and stuff out there, snow and stuff like that. But anyway, just wanted to get these, take a look, see what y'all think. My verdict, 250 is it worth it? Um, I'm going to go with the box is nice, but we don't wear boxes. I don't think it's any better than the Reimagined 3, which, you know, many say is sneaker of the year this year. Like, what do y'all think about that? Um, I mean, it's got some really nice hits and touches. You got the yellow piping around the, the leather, kind of, you know, reminiscent of like the Union Jordan 1 and the, the Union, uh, what was it, ones that just came out recently. Um, but other than that, I mean, this, the sunset gradient is really cool. But is that worth like another 50 bucks? I'm going to say no. But they're going to drop. <laughs> if I get exclusive access, I will be grabbing. Um, and on the 23rd, you know, if it's still, I'm still trying to get a pair. I'll be trying to grab there too. And we'll come back and do a side by side, see, what, uh, see what's happening out there in the streets. All right, y'all. That's all I wanted to do. Bring that to you. Thanks for hanging out. I will see you on the next one. Peace.